to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I'm going to be doing a flip and drag on a 10 by 20 canvas. This is the last of a set of five paintings that I'm doing. And um, I've been doing just four cups, but I'm going to try and do five on this just to see if it makes a difference in being able to control the sails. I used a um, silicone I got from Hobby Lobby. This is called Color Pour Cell Magic. I only put it in two of the colors, but honey, those cells go crazy. So I've got it in this dark brown, and I'm just going to pour some in. I'm going to change it up from the way I've been doing it. I'm just going to pour it in all of them. One thing I am consistent about is I don't like my paint that um, has silicone in it to be in the bottom of my cup. I just don't like that. Um, other than that, I don't really have a preference in the layering. Not for these. Some of them I layer darkest to lightest. Um, I may not even have enough of this to go in the last cup. I don't. That's alright. We'll put that cup in the middle. That'll kind of even things out. Don't you think? Alright, and now we're going to go in with my gold. Which I hope I have enough to go in every cup. This is the best thing about using paper cups. You can smush them and get all the paint out. over this just because I've not been filling my cups up all the way and I feel like I'm having to overstretch my paint and it's making my cells get really distorted and I'm not very happy about that what do I have left over I have some of this brown in you go. In you go. In you go. Alright, good deal. I think I got enough. Alright, now let's have these two. And these two. And that one. Alright, this paint's been... Uh, I took some of the cream out and thinned it. Well, that ain't cute. All right, um, it's this paint is thinner now than the the cream I put in the cup because I like my base coat to be thinner. And let's just do this because I like it. When I started my YouTube channel, I'm like, I gotta be all proper and everything. I gotta use my spatula to put my base coat on, and I can't get my gloves dirty, and yada, yada, yada. And now look at me. I'm 
I'm just playing in the paint. I'm gonna do this. Let's see if this makes a difference. And the only way you'll know if it makes a difference is if you watch some other videos. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'll tell you if it makes a difference. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be so rude of me? Alright. I know this paint on the edge isn't going to be pretty, but it's going to be tilted off anyway. It's just going to help with the flow. If I can ever learn how to do a flip and drag without messing it up. Now I've got to turn my canvas around and drag these ones in the other direction. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I have so much paint on this canvas, but hopefully it will keep my cells from being so stretched out. So I'm going to just start moving it back and forth. I don't ever move it vertically or horizontally like at a straight angle. I always tilt it and walk it down. Oh yeah, I should have been doing this. I should have been doing five and I should have been staggering them. Well, you know, hindsight's 2020. We live and we learn. This looks so much better than the first one. So much better. The second one came out really good, though. It was the first one that I was so unhappy with. Because the cells got so, so distorted. Would you look at that? I don't know if I even want to torch it. You know what? If I don't torch it, I'm going to be laying in bed tonight going, You should have torched that. So I might as well torch it. <laughs> I wish y'all could see, I know the camera's not showing it, but I wish y'all could see this gold and like what it does, especially with the burgundy. It is so pretty.
Y'all, when I first got my torch, I was scared to death of this thing. Now I'm just like, let me torch everything. I need to. <laughs> I'm going to try and straighten. I want to straighten this out. I might just leave it alone, though. Because I might end up doing more damage than good. No, it got a little straighter. All right, good deal. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to put my fingers under my edge and pull off the excess paint to keep it from pulling any more of the color down. And we are done with that one. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Well, it's very pretty and I like it a lot. So, there you go. There you have it. My last one. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope maybe you learned something or not. Maybe this was just good fun. Um, but I hope you have a good day day, morning, night, wherever you are, and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye!